Hello, this is Robin from Brown Dog Gadgets, and today I will be making an LED heart bracelet. We'll be using conductive thread and felt. You will need a scissors, a needle, thread, pins, as well as conductive thread, a battery holder, a battery, and LEDs. And a snap. And finally, you'll need felt. First cut a one and a half inch wide strip of felt to be the bracelet, and check to see how it fits. We don't want it to overlap, so trim it so that the ends just meet. Next, cut out your heart paper templates. These will overlap to make one smaller and one larger heart. Using your pin, attach the smaller ones to the white cloth and then cut it out with the scissors. Repeat this with the purple cloth. You now have all of your pieces cut out. We will put the white pieces on top of the purple and then overlap them to create a heart. Next, find your white thread and thread the needle, pulling a long length of thread. Double this up, trim the ends, and then wrap them around your finger, as shown, and slide them off, wrapping the end around to create a knot. Pull the knot tight. Next, take half of your heart and starting from the back, make large stitches up and down to connect the white to the purple piece. To tie a knot, go through only the purple layer and leave a loop, then thread the needle through two or three times from the same direction and pull this tight. This will create a knot. Trim the thread. Repeat this for the other half. To connect your pieces, arrange the heart halves at about a 45 degree angle and use your pins to attach them from the back side. Next, wrap this around your wrist to double check the fit. If it is too big, you can take off one of the pins and trim some off of the bracelet then repin it to double check how it fits around your wrist. You don't want it too big or it might fall off. Next we will attach the bracelet to the heart halves. Take a new length of thread with a knot on the end and carefully sew only through the purple and the pink layers, not onto the white. We don't want the white thread to show. Remove the pin and finish sewing. Create a knot in the end as we've shown previously by leaving a loop and then threading the needle through several times. Now we will attach the electronic components. There's the battery holder in the center and the LEDs will go on one end. Notice the positive and negative. And then we'll have a snap half on either end to create a switch. Double check that your needle fits easily through your LED and your battery holder. Cut a long length of conductive thread and thread it through your needle. This may be difficult as the conductive thread is very thick. If you have trouble, you can always cut a new end to your thread and try again. Once you have your needle threaded, pull some of it through and then we will tie a knot with only one length of the thread. Again, roll it around your finger and pull the knot tight. First, we will attach the battery holder. Starting from the back side, put the needle through the hole in the positive end tab, and sew around the tab two or three times to make a good electrical connection. Next, take large stitches out to one side of your bracelet. If you like, you can use the conductive thread to create the arrowhead of our arrow that's piercing our heart. Do not end the thread quite yet. Grab your snap and figure out exactly where it goes by overlapping the two halves of your heart. It should go in between so that we can connect the two. Next, take the remainder of your conductive thread and attach the snap securely, going through all of the holes. Tie a knot in the conductive thread just as you did with the non-conductive thread. 
Get a new length of conductive thread and attach the other battery terminal. Then make large stitches out to the heart. If you like, you can create the fletching on our arrow that's piercing the heart using the conductive thread. But this is purely decorative. The choice is up to you. Again, once you reach the end, do not tie off the conductive thread quite yet. Next, find your LED and notice which end is labeled positive and negative on the back side. Make sure that the negative side is what we are connecting to the negative battery terminal. Use the remainder of your conductive thread and loop through the hole and around it two or three times to make a good electrical connection. Then create a knot on the back side as previously shown. Next, we will determine where the other half of our snap goes. Wrap your bracelet around and put the snap together, holding the other half on the back side. But notice we have a problem. Our conductive thread is touching our snap, so we need to put an insulative layer in between. Sew your snap onto a scrap piece of felt with a piece of conductive thread, making sure that it's secure. Then fold over your felt and trim any excess. This will create an insulating layer with your other piece of conductive thread. Using the same piece of conductive thread, finish connecting the other half of your LED to the snap and tie it off as previous. And finally, we'll attach this small piece of scrap to the bracelet with non-conductive thread. We want to make sure that this doesn't show on the front side. To install your battery, put the positive side up and then push down until it's secure. Connect your snap and your LED should light. We also want to remove this extra piece of purple felt. Take your scissors and trim it. And now your heart looks complete. Congratulations! You have just made an LED felt heart bracelet with conductive thread. For this and more projects like it, check out browndoggadgets.com. Thank you.